is life with a toddler. It is half past six in the morning. These are on the side ready for his hand luggage as a travel snack. He's already on his second one in his cart. Wants to do it himself. <laughs> There's the lid, isn't it? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. What are we doing today, Saint? Are we going on a plane? Plane. Plane? What do, what do planes say? Zoom. Zoom. Goodbye. Woohoo. <laughs> He looks so grown up today, I literally can't even. He's actually wearing an outfit that he wore. Um, we went to Turkey in September, but he literally just looks like a teenager in it now. It actually blows my mind. Anyway, hi from Dubai. Guys, I had planned to film so much at the airport, so much on the flight, but just delayed a little bit and Saint didn't sleep the entire time. It was so amazing, like I could not have been prouder of him, but full on mum mode was out. Anyway, so we all had a really great sleep. We literally only woke up about an hour ago. We woke up at like half past 11, quarter to 12, it's Dubai time. So we missed our buffet breakfast, which we're gutted about. But we've literally just thrown on some clothes, we've unpacked, and um, we've just come to explore a little bit of the hotel. So staying at the Atlantis, and we've been out of our hotel room for about 10 minutes, and literally me and Connor are like, this is our new favorite place in the entire world. <laughs> I'll just show you guys a little bit of what I'm looking at. We're at, um, I would say like the play area, like the kids area. It's so cool. I cannot wait to show you all like a proper tour of the hotel because I just think it is so insane and the perfect place to spend a baby moon, especially with a toddler. So this is the restaurant that we're sat at it, just for a little bit of food because we didn't really eat very much yesterday. We're at the Wave House. It's just really like family friendly kind of food i mean babe they do sunday buckets soft serve ice cream a bit of mashed potato you know they've even got chicken alfredo i literally always feel like i'm in america when we do chicken alfredo even the high chair is cool you no know? they've also got a soft play in there bowling alley like hi yeah. look how big my baby looks ready that's hand. Oh! Wow. Wow. wow! So we've just found one of the little playgrounds after a bit of lunch. Honestly, I feel like this hotel is so big. I genuinely, I'm like, how are we gonna manage to fit it all in? And look, there's the new Atlantis over there that um, Beyonce performed at. But yeah, guys, this is the view. It's literally gorgeous weather. It's perfect. It's like quarter to three right now and like really really lovely sunny warm weather but not too hot where saint can't play outside you know uh, what are you doing up there Boo. Beekaboo. Beekaboo. fruit nice platter number two of the day on the beach looking at the beautiful hotel in the background isn't it just absolutely stunning here i can't even believe so we think over there is a place called The Point, which loads of you guys have recommended to us as like a little dinner spot. And we're thinking of heading there for dinner this evening. Um, because we can catch the choo-choo. We can catch the choo-choo and basically... That will make Saint's life. Yeah, it will make Saint really happy. There's this like monorail thing that goes almost like all around the hotel. And every like time Saint's been in um view of like the train passing on it he gets really excited and says choo choo might take you on there hey babe after you nice. finish scoffing your fruit that'd be nice and bad to do that wouldn't it he is doing so well considering his sleep has just been so off for the last few days he has had the equivalent of us like waking him up at like 3 a.m and he gets full 12 hours doesn't he yeah we've resisted a nap this afternoon in order to try and get him on a good 
sleeping schedule to, for tonight. Everyone know what time we woke up? This breakfast. I know, gutted. We show everyone our wedding ceremony later. Oh yeah, oh my god. There, someone's getting married here today. It is absolutely stunning. Next level. Like, never, I've actually never seen anything like it in real life. Oh go on, you had that whole mango. What's that? Very slippery. That's the wrong side, actually. What is it? What? No, I don't know. That's not papaya. Pomegranate? That's pomegranate. But so far, first day in Dubai, we've literally just had a really, really relaxing, chilled out day. We've not done much at all. We've just been in the hotel. Wow. And we've been having oh, a great that. time. Brave, aren't you? Confident. Wow, that's brilliant, babe. So I cool. wonder if we gave that to you in your high chair, you would try that. I don't think you oh, would. Think so Is it either. something about being Sitting on the on beach, beach at yeah. the Atlantis? with a stunning fruit platter in front of you, you're thinking, maybe I'll treat mum and dad to find something new. You're a bit exotic. <laughs> oh, that's very yum, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> very yum. He's never had anything like no. that. No. Scoff. <laughs> Gorgeous boy. This is how little in life Connor and I know about. We just had to Google pink skin fruit with white inside and black seeds, and it's a dragon fruit. Wow, that sounds like a cool fruit to me. Have to get you some of that at home, babe. He's on second piece now. Look how much he <laughs> ate of the first piece, guys. Look. What? Uh, if anyone's considering bringing your toddler to Dubai, you're a bit unsure about the flight time. Honestly, going for it, if you want them to. <laughs> wow, is that what you say? Just go for it. Because they end up having a whale of a time, sat on the beach. It might even surprise you with eating a dragon fruit. Guys, I just have to literally tell you, <laughs> Connor and I, just two minutes past the clip that you guys have literally just seen and we're like, we actually didn't even know what dragon fruit looked like. And we thought this, <laughs> like, no, I just I haven't had my camera out. <laughs> we, <laughs> no, come on, it does look like it. We were like, that's a cacao bean. Like, why, why is that on a fruit platter? That's a cacao bean. I was tried it. I tried nice. it, I was like, it's actually very nice. Turns out it's a mango steam. Do you know what I mean though, Con? Life's about learning, right? Exactly, exploring. Yeah. We wouldn't know what a mango steam or dragon fruit. Look, we're just on the way back up to the room. But this is the wedding set up. Literally so stunning. Hotel right there. Incredible. Like just so gorgeous, I can't even explain. A, A, if you're watching this, congratulations. Yeah, A and A. We love your setup and your design. The stylist should be tipped. <laughs> you should tell Kim Kardashian your stylist, babe, because they've done a great job. I wonder if they'll let us like walk by here later tonight, see what the party's popping off like. <laughs> your birthday suit it is room tour time guys so i'll just quickly show you our suite we decided to upgrade when we got here excuse the state of me we thought baby moon treat ourselves and oh my gosh i genuinely think it's the most beautiful suite i've ever stayed in in my life so you walk in you've got this gorgeous living room area with a bowl of fruit that they actually just delivered you're doing the room tour and then you go in through Come on, then show us the bathroom. Where's the bathroom? Bathroom. Yeah. Thank you. Knock, knock. Whoa. He thinks there's something in there. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I can't say the word right now. <laughs> the thing that cleans up dirt from the floor. Nothing in that. It's not even a door. It's a fake door. It's just a wall. <laughs> this is what he does, guys. Nothing he started to go <gasps> when he loves something and thinks it's exciting, and he always does it, and it literally breaks my heart. I think he does it to try and like, be like, oh my god, guys, look at this. I what's know, because we always it. do it with yeah. him. Like, what did he do earlier? He did it. He was he was feeding Connor his lunch. Like Saint Saint was feeding Connor Saint's lunch, and Connor said, no, thank you. That blueberry is Saint's or something, and Saint was like. Oh. 
<gasps> there you go, Dad. So funny. Anyway, so this is the bathroom. And then, coming through here, you've got our bedroom. Well, we've got a baby's cot, obviously. So cute. They delivered these for him this morning. Two little baby dolphins. Ah. TV. <laughs> And in here you've got the bathroom which is just the most beautiful thing in the world stunning bath in the middle toilet and shower over there and then in here you've got the dressing room where we've unpacked made ourselves comfy and the best bit if you guys think that's not enough which it most definitely is you've got the most beautiful view out here on our balcony and i'm really excited to watch a sunset from here this evening because it just looks so stunning. Look. Just can't get enough. You've got the new Atlantis there. This is the monorail I was talking about. The moon. A little bit of the aquarium down there. Just so gorgeous. So yeah, that's the room tour. Just gonna throw on some clothes and go for some dinner. To get on the train. Choo -choo. Wow. We've arrived. It is so cool here, guys. Loads of like fun things. Like, look at all of the kids in the cars. <laughs> Do you want to go in a car? Dad and son matching outfits tonight. Saints fit is pretty much fully Zara, apart from his Amazon shoes. Yeah, oh, Ready? Beep, beep. Beep, beep. You can drive us to the restaurant. Should mum just hop in the back? Yes, please. First, yeah. doing the breakfast run. Here's your chariot. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Mum gets a bit tired, doesn't it? Oh, oh. Yeah. Lovely yeah, piece sure. of artwork. Come on, Mum. Keep up. Good morning, everybody. My camera unfortunately died last night before we managed to get any dinner, but we had a lovely night. We went to the point. Uh, it's a new morning, <laughs> and we all had to force ourselves to get up breakfast at quarter to ten we're still a little bit behind on the sleeping schedule good morning fishies we might come and see you after our breakfast wowee your favourite <laughs> delicious stuff to pick from i am so bad at breakfast buffets i just well buffets in general actually happy breakfast i just literally get a plate and i can't help myself i just like scoff it with everything i want first whereas connor's the opposite he like strategically does like a round of fruit a round of fried breakfast his wife's just not on that level oh my god i miss this Saints having most of it. I don't mind in having it. It's calories in boy, bulking season. 
Get ready for the beach later on, isn't it? Okay, after a little bit of shopping and a small nap in the pram, it is now like five o'clock. Oh. <laughs> oh, was she lovely? Another little girl just patting Satan on the head. <laughs> decided to come to one of your guys' recommendations, a place called The Green Planet, which is Dubai's only rainforest. What does a monkey say? Yeah. Oh, oh, ah. There's the monkey. Ah, ah. Saint is actually really loving it. And it's just like this, like a big tree in a rainforest. Lots of animals. Yeah. Mum's okay. I'm alright. I don't need any help with the pram. Thank you, though, babe. Okay, then. Be very, very careful. Thank you, sweetheart. Such a gem. Run away. Tell you what though, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but I actually have a bit of a fear of birds and there's loads of them just like free flying around this enclosure. So, <sighs> mum's being put for test right now, trying not to be put into early labour. Oh my gosh, there's a sloth! Hello sloth! Oh, what's his name? Gosh, I don't know why I'm so tired this morning when we had what was actually a really good night's sleep in the end last night. I think the aircon's given same quite a bad cough. Well, I think no. it's I think it's the aircon. We can't be for sure, Con. It's definitely. He could have caught it from the flight. Bella. He's got like quite a bad cough, and it gets quite bad at night time. And obviously, we're in the same room as him. So not last night, but the night before, he was up like peekaboo peek all the time. Um, but last night, it wasn't so bad. We had bought him some medicine from the... Last night, he, he didn't wake up, did he, after he went down? He had a few coughing things, but he did, it didn't wake him up. It didn't wake Daddy up either, which is the main thing, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I don't really know how much I've vlogged this far. Today is day four, four. of our baby moon. Today's gonna, be, today's gonna be a fun day. Yeah, and I thought, I'm gonna vlog. Like, I'm gonna vlog it oh. all. So that's what I'm doing, Connor, right? So you have to keep me on my, on my game. A game. Anyway, we've literally just woken up, if you can't tell by their appearance. This is what my husband gets to wake oh. up to. I'm so lucky, aren't I? It's 10 o'clock. Pregnant wife. Uh, stunning hairdo. <gasps> that's funny. Are you making dad wear your bucket? Saint, come and tell me who's on your bucket. Oh, uh, who can daddy kiss on your bucket? Who can daddy Bye. kiss? Buzz. Buzz, that's Mwah. Uh, what about alien? I feel this alien. Oh. oh, that's lovely, babe. Uh, and who's that? Who's that? Jesse. Jesse. Oh. oh, so kind of you, sweetheart. Saint really has a thing for Toy Story right now. And so when we were at the family pool yesterday, we saw a Toy Story bucket, we thought we'd take it to the beach and he's obsessed with it. Anyway, so it's about 10 o'clock. We are all gonna get up and showered and dressed and then we're gonna head down for breakfast. So I think today the plan is we're actually gonna have like a hotel day. There is so much to do here. I almost feel like Atlantis and Dubai are really like two separate um, holidays. To be honest with you, you don't have to leave the Atlantis. Like, there's just so much to do here, but there's also obviously so much to explore in Dubai. I'm gonna have to sit down after I've opened the curtains. <sighs> Feeling very pregnant on this trip, guys. So tonight, instead of having dinner here, we're gonna go and visit a global village, which I'm really, really excited to go and see. Okay, be careful though. He's really got a thing for his pram on this holiday. Go. 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 <laughs> you ready to go? go, go yeah. Go. Yep. You're going to be like a mini dad, aren't you? And telling mum to hurry up all the time, I think. You need to change your nappy before we go anywhere, babe. And you need to get out of your jammies. Today's outfit is this extremely comfy number from Bump Suit. I did do a TikTok on these dresses, but I don't think I've shown you on here. So I did a big order from Bump Suit after I saw it 
literally going like viral on TikTok. And I ordered a couple of dresses. I think I ordered like four different items. They're quite expensive though, so I had the intention of like maybe keeping one or two and then sending the others back. But guys, I kept all of them. I'm gutted. I didn't know about these when I was pregnant with Saint. They are just like the comfiest dresses. They are expensive. I know that you can get similar things on like places like PLT and stuff, but the quality of this fabric is, I can't even explain it. It's so thick, so comfortable. But it's not thick to the point where like, I'd be hot in this today. It's just almost like thick, um, thick comfy. Bump is getting big now. So that's my outfit. And I think I'm just gonna wear it with my Chloe sandals. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna wear, it, wear them with these little flip flops that I got from H&M. There we go, that's the look. Look, Saint, you've got your new flip-flops to put on. Look! I got my flippy floppies. Saint, can you say <laughs> flippy floppies? Okay. <laughs> ready? Put these shoes on and then we'll go. Oh. Right, he's never wore flip-flops before. And I'm... <gasps> oh, oh man, a, a little bit too big. Good Whoa. boy. You're not a fan of your... You like slides, don't you? Not sandals. Daddy, take them off. Daddy, take them off for you. <laughs> no flip-flops at the water park then. Just your sandals. Oh! Do you want them back on? Wow. Good job. <laughs> Ready for the biggest water park in the world, babe? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is totally Are giving me universal, universal vibes. What's the water park there called? Volcano Bay, buddy. Volcano Bay. On the buggy. On the way to the kids area. Wow. Hi. Splash, 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 splash. Waiting for Dada to bring our food. Yeah. Uh-oh, here it comes. Mmm. You look very handsome there, my daddy. This is all yours. No, it's not. Oh, wow, that looks yummy actually. Oh, that's Mama's. Oh, that's a good sausage. Look at mate. Saints. Good, mate. Saints got a hot dog and chips. And a sausage. B A N A N A, which I can't say out loud because otherwise I'll want that. I've got some chicken tacos. We've just come for a little bit of lunch at the um, one of the restaurants at the water. Mama, look. Yeah, they do have a couple of restaurants here. We've come to one called Snappers. And after this, I'm hoping that Saint's gonna maybe have a little nap in the pram, which he has been doing since we got here. But look, Connor wants to go on a few of the slides. Obviously, I can't really do many of them. Um, so hopefully, I'll be able to do some sunbathing, but we'll see. My toddler lets me. Right? Cheers. Cheers. Here's to our Sunday in Dubai. Here's to our baby moon Sunday. We're having a lovely time, aren't we? Honestly, I feel like this was the perfect baby moon. I can't believe how completely friendly the buyers. Yeah, yeah. I had a couple of DMs saying, we're thinking about coming to Dubai, our baby is seeing me the same. It's perfect. 100%. He's having a brilliant time. Like, looking around at all the older families makes me so excited when all of our kids are like, Bit more obviously I'm definitely not wishing the time away babe I'm gonna cry at every birthday but that little bit older like when Saints maybe 10 and he's got brothers and sisters and we come to places like this and they just all really like enjoy going on the slides as a family in the queue for a taxi for our evening out everybody looking gorgeous holding mum's hand Universal. 
Canada's the world's biggest universal fan, oh, if you guys I'm can't tell. I'm to Florida. <laughs> and that's it, okay? Everyone's coming with us. <laughs> Saint's going to be a Floridian. <gasps> oh my gosh, Con, should we get one of those for Saint? They put them on the car, huh? Baby car. Oh, but there's so many different cars to choose from. Oh my god, they've actually got Range Rovers and everything to pick from. What this place is so cool. I tell yeah, you what, Well, look, he's already seen them. You don't so. get that at Universal. Oh, look, he's already pointing. Whoa, yeah, we're going to get you one. Oh my gosh, look what Mummy got you. Wow. Nino, Nino. You ready? Wow. wow. Cool way to get around. I think it's yeah. a bit cooler than a pram, isn't it? Yeah. I think actually on the map it's called like an amusement park. I've never seen anything like it really though. Have you? Like Epcot is the closest. Ep thing. Yeah, I guess Epcot is but Epcot is like not a patch on, on this. No, this is quite bad. But look guys, everywhere you look. Everything is just so beautiful. Um, yeah, I just can't really explain it. What have we got over here? It's so big, I don't even know where to go. Pakistan, UAE, we've got Africa over there, the Americas, Europe. Bobby's still enjoying his ride. I am getting a little bit nervous though. I can give another 30 minutes, I reckon it'll be over. Yeah. I don't want to relax in his pram, which we don't have anymore. He did just say pram when he saw a pram. Look at this place. Gosh, sorry guys, I know I'm being really repetitive, but I am just blown away, to be honest. Imagine if it was as easy as this to just travel around the world. Oh, like, no, don't let him see oh, the Oh, there's a bus. Wow. Uh, what's that? <laughs> but yeah, like standing in the middle of like a big, gorgeous, stunning, open air arena. Everywhere you look, there's a different country and you just go, okay, I want to go there. Teleport. Do you think that's ever going to be a real life thing, Con? Maybe that's why they invented Global Village. Maybe they're onto bigger things. You'd have to have one in every single country. Yeah. Oh. Also, it's a very, very full moon. Can you guys see that? Do you know what that is, Colin? It's a full moon in Leo tonight. I drew your horoscope for it, didn't I? What's your horoscope for the full moon? I need to uh, communicate more. Is that all right? Yeah. Communicate. Learn how to communicate <laughs> to develop your purpose. Get that one day, darling, won't we? And mine naturally said hey, let's pull down it would up. bring me to a uh, different country. Here we are. Right, here we are at Global Village in Dubai. Here we are. So, what do you think about that? Do you we brought one of our Instax cameras out I mean, to Dubai with us. Uh oh. And Connor and Saint just got a pic on it. Yeah, uh -oh. one now. We did plan to get a picture a day, but we only remembered to start doing it today when we've got two days left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the boys are waiting for their food. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have yeah. found some restaurants. It's like the restaurant strip. We've chosen Mama Italia for a bit of pizza, Saint's favourite. Oh my gosh though, it's like chaos walking through there, isn't it? It's like, um, like, a, like when you get out of market, the main bit, it? yeah, it's like loads of markets, like loads of market stalls that if you literally imagine like going on holiday and going to a market, like lots of little market stalls cramped all together. And I've literally seen about 50 different uh, stalls selling like mango, mango flavoured desserts, which is I'm perfect because that's Con's favourite. I'm getting one. I'll buy that, that Beko Bakery for you. Oh yeah, I did actually see Beko Bakery. They do like stuffed donuts. So big though. Like, I don't think we'll explore a quarter. I know, time. neither do I. This is amazing. I feel like this is definitely like an all I think all -day it's cool thing. at night as well. Yeah. So if you come in, come at night. Saint is having a lovely time. It is 20 to 7 right now. Isn't it crazy? Normally he's asleep. Yeah, normally he has just fallen asleep or is going to sleep right now. And here he is, babe. Not even had his dinner yet. Nope. Yep. Yeah, ready Thanks. for it. 
foods arrived. Look how gorgeous it looks. Yeah, but this might be my favourite meal that we've had in Dubai so far. <laughs> it looks really nice. Okay, okay. Risotto. Garlic bread with cheese. Pizza that Saint is incredibly excited about. Dad, no, we watched you eat that. Know, but I've already had a bit and it's spicy. So I couldn't have it. Connor's pasta, which looks absolutely stunning. So the boys are enjoying some mango. This is like the sweet shop area over here. And I just picked up these donuts from Biko Bakery. I've got a Nutella one and like a vanilla custard one. Such a vibe here. Little starter course of Rice Krispies as usual for breakfast today. Pia, 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 no, pia, no, pia, no. morning everybody it is our last yes that's you that's what you look like it is our last day on the stunning baby moon i'm, I'm not surprised i've extended our trip what i wish this has been the best holiday ever I've literally cried of happiness almost every single day. My pregnancy hormones have been literally through the roof. They literally kissed me this morning and I nearly burst into tears. It's just been so wonderful. But I don't know how wonderful it's made of a vlog because this is what I always do on holiday. I film little bits here and there and then I'm like, like how much of a vlog have I actually got? So if this vlog's been a little bit all over the place, it'll bit higgledy piggledy then please accept my apologies i've just been having the best time on my baby moon but we're flying home tomorrow at 10 o'clock and for our last day we thought that it would be nice to take satan to the children's museum there's a really fab children's museum that a lot of you guys have recommended to me called ollie ollie we're gonna go and do that um and then also we still haven't done the aquarium in the hotel yet so we're gonna do that and then we're just gonna have like an afternoon on the beach and chill out right we do need an early night. Saint's been going to bed at like 9, 10 o'clock, which... Saint's like an 18 year old on this trip. He is like an 18 year old on this trip. He's having lions until about 9, 10 a.m. as well, which is fine. I actually don't really mind at all because in my still mind, still gets 12 hours. And also in my mind, it's going to be much easier to like transition him back into UK time because that's there or thereabouts the same time that he would have to be on in the UK because the UK is four hours earlier so six o'clock ish and it'll just take like one night of getting back and him being a little bit tired and pushing his bed to until seven to be back to normal routine so I haven't really made that much of a big deal of like um getting him onto Dubai time really but yesterday we did the safari park that was so much fun it was really really big if you guys are coming to dubai and you've got small kids just be aware it is literally huge like you have to get buses and trains to go around the safari park it was still a really nice day though it was hot yesterday and we did the arcade and ice cream which to be honest is what we've been doing most evenings the fact the hotel here is so fabulous like anyway we've just finished breakfast saint is ready to go we can pass the fishies Shirt is cool today. Where's this from? Zara. Saint's outfit is from H&M. I'll try and link it, but I haven't seen it online yet. Um, we spotted it in a mall here the other day. My dress is from ASOS. So this is the lobby. Well, like one of them. Lots of different restaurants down here. Oh, they've actually got um, an estate agent in the lobby, guys. How interesting is that? I'm going to speak to them now. Cun's going to go and have a word and just say, look. <laughs> I just thought that was like really, really clever that they've got an estate agent here because how much do you fall in love with Dubai when you come? so amazing isn't it? you just have such a nice time of course people are like oh, i'd love to move here well yeah they've got an estate agent literally in the lobby babe yeah you they're like it's hot don't they yeah they do they literally stand outside and say would you like to move to dubai and we're always like do you know what babe i'll give it a go yeah waiting for our taxi 
Lucy. There it is. That wasn't very long, was it? Hi, baby. Yeah, look at our funky socks that we have to wear in here. Wow, man, they look cool. So this is one of the structures called Toshi's Nets, and it basically displays like what it's all about in each room. It is so cool here, guys. There's so much to do. Then there's these like big balls that they balance on. Hi. So we're in the toddler section. Uh, it has good. loads of great little sensory toys and stuff. Saint is honestly having such a great time. Ow! 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 This is so cool. Same sign, shall we? Ready? Oh, put them in. Building the coolest car you've ever seen. Down. But dad Good needs to get boy. used to this life because before we know it, Saint's going to be into Lego. And this one on top, Saint push down. Good well job. done. I actually used to have a Lego princess house castle. Oh, did you? Yeah. And my mum always used to tell me a story because it lived on the landing until I was about eight or nine and I got it when I was really young. Always used to tell me the story of how she stayed up one Christmas Eve building it and it literally took her and my dad like all Christmas Eve. Like when I did my his kitchen. Like when you did his kitchen, yeah. Same. That's just parent life. Let's go and put it down. <laughs> this place is so brilliant. Would honestly really highly recommend if you've got kids. Is it gonna go down the ramp? Who do you reckon's gonna win? I'm gonna say this one here. Yeah. Don't try and push it in front. They're on their way up, quick. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> look, you ready? They're gonna come down there. Oh, look at this one. Whoa. Oh. oh, no. Oh. Oh, no, Saint. Oh, oh we spent two hours making just. Oh. Uh -oh. oh. Good evening. We've not seen you since the kids' museum earlier. Yay! We are at the arcade in the hotel before a little bit of dinner tonight. Mum is ticket collector. Currently bowling. Oh! Yeah! Good throw! But yeah, this is the um, hotel arcade. It is amazing. They've literally got so many fun games all around here. And this is the upstairs bit, they've got more downstairs too. A bit of fun before we go for dinner. I don't know where we're going to go for dinner tonight, just somewhere in the hotel. And then we need to go and pack and get to Saint to have a bit of an early night. Connor takes the arcade too seriously this is literally supposed to be pure enjoyment for our 18 month old yeah. with two boys Good. i think i'm gonna have to have a word with connor about his competitiveness yeah. i think we're gonna end up being a household that loves games a lot yeah. well we actually already are a household that loves games a lot but even more so arcade cars games that's my life for the next Rest of my life. <laughs> I mean, it's really trying hard to throw this really big. Another big one. Whoa! Try. Whoa! Watch Danny do it. Big throw over. Big throw over. You ready? Get it together. Three, two, one. Woohoo! And this one. Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do our last game. How's that Time is Keep going. Oh. Saint, should we get something for your baby brother with our tickets? Because this is his baby moon. That's a kiss mark from me on his head, by the way. What should we choose your baby brother with the tickets that you guys won? What did we get? 100. 
200 we can get oh should we get them a little mickey mouse backpack so some crisps oh digger oh camera oh my gosh if that's not slightly jet lagged appearance i don't know what is i mean you guys have seen me in much worse states than this i will admit but i have just finished editing this vlog and first of all i want to say if you've made it all the way to the end of this video you have no idea how much i appreciate you we are bffs we were meant to be friends in this life i'm so thankful for you for watching this video because there is a huge part of me right now now listen we do not do self-depreciation talk we do not put ourselves down we do not judge ourselves we are not negative about ourselves but there is a professionalism side to me that is like i just know this vlog this vlog was random to say the least um i i'm actually gonna put out there and say this was definitely not my best work which is why i'm ex even more thankful for you if you made it to the end of this video because yeah i don't know i just feel like we had such a lovely time like i can't even explain to you how amazing of a week we had in dubai making memories just the three of us it was like so special and we actually never did a baby moon with saint because it was around the time that um like things were kind of finishing with covid so it was kind of a little bit touch and go with going abroad so we just didn't but i would highly 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 recommend doing it if you can um it was just such a special way to like celebrate bringing another child into the world before they arrive making those last little memories before it goes into like newborn life and you know being too pregnant to do things um yeah anyway i digress we were just having such a nice time that as much as i like adore vlogging so much and i've been doing it for so many years now sometimes there is just like this veil that kind of comes over that is like living versus vlogging and i tried to really balance the two but i will feel like in this vlog i don't know i just didn't really achieve that i don't know i might be really overthinking this but this is just what is going on in my mind right now and also i feel like this was very much like a very saint heavy video which i typically try not to do so much but at the end of the day if you're a mum you will know how much they are just your absolute world and everything they do like you're so amazed by and you're like oh my god so yeah i don't know i just wanted to say thank you very much for watching this was like a real week in the life of mum ellie and dad connor and our little family together and as much as it wasn't like a really consistent vlog we had the best time of our life so it's nice to just have the memories and to have brought you guys along for what you have just seen regardless i really hope you guys still enjoyed it we did do so much and saying really honestly thoroughly absolutely loved dubai i thought it was so child friendly and actually that reminds me one thing that i didn't necessarily like vlog the day of but i but i vlogged bits of was this really amazing family brunch that we went to at the caesar's palace hotel we were very kindly invited to it i don't know about you guys but all of my friends that have been to dubai and stuff that don't have kids like they all go out for these amazing bottomless brunches and they look really fun and obviously when you have kids you can't go and do that it was really nice to feel like there was still something for the family option out there and it's called the family fest brunch like i said i didn't vlog the day i did get a few little clips that i'll just pop over the screen now it's basically like a really cool brunch at the gorgeous caesar's palace hotel there's so much food loads of kid friendly choices you can sit inside or outside there's a circus parade there's a magician there's a balloon bender there's face painting there's loads of activities like slime making coloring arts and crafts mini chef like it was really great for younger children and also if they love mirabelle from encanto she was there as well saying so was really impressed with her <laughs> loads of games loads of dancing so obviously it's great for the children but obviously for the adults as well like me and connor were saying to each other it was really nice to just go and do that and feel like you're the social side of things like rather than just doing things in your own little families and also it would have been really nice if you like go on a holiday with friends that have kids lots of different drinks packages and stuff so even though i didn't vlog it i did just want to put that in there because as much as this was obviously like our personal baby moon vlog i'm really aware of the amount of people that like to sometimes base their itinerary from trips off of things that they've seen other people do and yeah i just want to put that out there that if you have kids you're going to dubai and you're looking for like 
a brunch option would really recommend they have lots of ones all over the city but family fest brunch at caesar's palace was the one we went to anyway love you guys so much thank you so much for watching we are obviously now back home so i'm going to be getting straight back into my normal content lots and lots of pregnancy stuff i have not that long left at all and oh my gosh am i really feeling it like today i am honestly just so tired i just want to go and lie in bed to be honest with you I'm also feeling really, really hormonal today. I, well, I think I mentioned actually in this vlog uh, towards the end, like I was really hormonal on this trip. Like everything, I was just very tearful. Everything like seemed to be just much more emotional, good or bad than it ever usually is for me. And yeah, I'm just feeling very pregnant now, <laughs> which is such a beautiful thing, but makes me very emotional <laughs> yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you finally after about five hours have the best rest of your day guys and i'll see you in the next video bye